Hello there. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the door mirror on a Nissan Micra K11. Welcome to CarSpy TV. As if I would. Anyway, the mirror we're working on today, albeit without a hammer, is this one here on the left side of the car. And the first thing we need to do is remove a piece of plastic trim right here on the inside of the door. And here is that plastic trim. It's this black triangle. And this thing is held to the car by a plastic pin that's about there. And that pin goes into a hole behind it. And to separate the two, simply pop your fingers there and then pull towards you, like so. And now we can see that is the black plastic pin I was telling you about. And that white thing there is the hole it goes into. Now there are two more pins that hold this plastic trim in place. Now one of these pins is down there somewhere and the other one is about down there. But unlike at the top, we can't immediately release those pins by simply pulling the plastic trim forwards. And that's because it's blocked in position by this gray door card. See that? The plastic trim is behind the door card. Now, I have seen some people completely remove this door card just to get off that piece of plastic trim, but that isn't necessary. The better way is to simply pull the door card forwards a bit, like so, and that makes a little bit of a gap to move that plastic trim and release the pins. And it is a little bit of a faff, but it does work. There we go. Now the plastic trim has been removed, we can see, if we look up here, three gold colored bolts. There are two just down there. Can you see those? And the third is just down that hole there. All three of those bolts need to be removed. Now, we could remove those bolts with this 10 millimeter socket, which as we can see, is attached to a ratchet, but if we didn't have that, we could use a large Phillips screwdriver. And if we didn't have either, we could always use... Okay, maybe not. We'll use the ratchet today because it's easiest. And we'll start with the top bolt, which is quite tight. There we go. And the key in a moment, will be not to drop the bolt, lose it, then spend 10 minutes trying to find it, which is something I do quite a bit. <laughs> right, come on, don't drop it. Got it. And now bolt number two. Here it comes. Bolt number three now. And of course, once this one's removed, there'll be nothing to support the mirror. So we need to be ready to catch it. There we go. Now at this point, one of two things will happen depending on the specification of your car. If your mirror is manually adjustable, like this one, it will completely come away from the car, and that's it. In contrast, if your mirror is electrically adjustable, you'll see a wire about there, and that wire will feed down this gap here into the door. So what you'll need to do is pull that wire out until you see an electrical connector. You'll then need to disconnect that electrical connector, and then the mirror will be free. 
As for sourcing a replacement mirror, well, they're easily available on eBay, and to fit it, all you have to do is reverse the process I've already shown you. So there you go, that's how to replace the door mirrors on a Nissan Micra K11. Now, what else is fixing around here? Well, the Primera could do with a, a little bit of attention, and the Corsa could do with a great deal of attention. So don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to keep up to date with what's going on here. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.